So I want to introduce you to a wine from Italy now, from the region of Umbria. You find Umbria just to the south of Tuscany, which is not one of the most famous regions, but it is home to some of the great wines of Italy. But now we're going to look at a wine called Cevara della Sella, which comes from a very, very old medieval estate called Castello della Sella, which in the last sort of 50 years was purchased by a very well-known wine family called Antinori, which many of you you may know if you're wine fans. And what Antinori did was they wanted to produce a world-class wine, a wine that would age well, a wine that would, would rank among the best white wines of the world. So what they did, instead of planting with the normal varietals of the region and bottling an Orvieto, they planted the internationally acclaimed Chardonnay variety, which makes up around 85 to 90 percent of the blend of this wine in an average year. The rest of the blend is made up by a local varietal called Grecetto. Be forgiven for not knowing that one because it's not very well known at all. But what this wine has become in 30 years is one of the leading white wines of Italy uh, for all the right reasons. It's, some, it's a wine that can age for, for 20, 30 years in some instances. And it really is one of the, the greats and one of the favorite white, white wines of Italy. Now, many of you will have come across Chardonnay, I'm sure, and you'll all have your own opinions. And I think sadly in the last 15, 20 years, Chardonnay went into the doldrums and became quite unfashionable. And that really was as a result of the style of wines that people were producing for a certain period. There was a lot of oak put into the wines, too much oak, too much of that sort of sensation of buttery character of vanilla from new oak and made the wines quite difficult to drink. What Chardonnay producers have done in the last 10 years have, have come back much more to classically styled Chardonnays, much more fruit forward wines, earlier picking in the vineyards, which gives much more freshness to the wines. And the wines are much, much more appealing. They are great and they can be some of the best wines in the world. So if you've got a, an aversion to Chardonnay, have a try with the Cervaro de la Sala. I think you'll find that it is a modern take on Chardonnay and a wine that, that will pair well with a number of the menu items on board. It is a very, very versatile wine. And if you're not a fan of red wine, you'll find that a good Chardonnay with a little bit of barrel aging, like this one, it's got five months of of barrel aging in, in oak barrels. Works very, very well with, uh, with red meat dishes as well. I'm gonna open that up and have a taste. There aren't very many famous white wines of Italy. I think Cervaro is on the lips of most Italian wine experts when they're talking about the great white wines of Italy, for sure. And Cervaro for those, well, a Cervara is a stag, so a male deer and that it takes its name from the family that used to own it back in the early days. So when you look at the Chavaro, it's got a very bright color, sort of a pale yellow with some sort of green tints. And on the nose, you immediately get that sensation of Chardonnay. Fresh stone fruit, so peaches, nectarines, the jumping straight out of the glass. And if you, if you dig a little bit further, you do get that sensation of oak, a slightly buttery note, but it's almost like butter on toast. It's slightly toasty as well. Very appealing smell, but fresh. The oak is not taking over this wine. It's, it's not wrapped in oak. It's just, it's an undertone in the wine. And the first thing you notice when you take a sip is the acidity. It's, it's bright, it's, the wine is very well composed, the oak's very much in the background, and those delicious stone fruit flavors come to the fore and, and just make this extremely, extremely interesting. This is really you know, one of the cores of the Italian cellar for Emirates, and I think it will remain so for, for years to come. So this is a great example of modern Chardonnay at its best. If you're flying in the summer of 2019, do give it a go. Uh, it will not disappoint. Salute.